This short video will show you how to set up and customize the Cintiq 22 HD to maximize enjoyment and productivity. You will learn how to set up several key features, the express keys, touch strips, and the pen switches. Before following the steps in this video, please install your Cintiq 22 HD and configure all your displays. If you need help with these initial steps, please review the video on installing the Cintiq 22 HD, which will walk you through the steps of physically setting up your pen display and getting it running. The Cintiq 22 has eight customizable express keys on each side of the display, as well as a four-mode touch strip located on the back of each side. The small center button controls the modes for that side's touch strip. There is also a programmable rocker switch on the Cintiq grip pen. Wacom has assigned a number of default settings to each of these for you, but you're encouraged to configure them to better suit your needs. You can either have each button perform the same function in all software applications or assign functions to a specific application. One way to open the Wacom tablet properties is to simply press the wrench icon at the top of the display which will automatically open the properties window. You can also open it through traditional means. On the Mac, go to your Apple menu, System Preferences, Wacom Tablet. On a PC, go to Start, All Programs, Wacom Tablet, Wacom Tablet Properties. You can also get to it through your control panel. These tabs and pull-down menus allow you to customize the Cintiq. At the top is the tablet list. This will show you any tablets or pen displays that are currently connected to your computer. For most of you, this will be a single tablet. But if you have more than one, you'll need to make sure that you have the one you want to customize selected before moving to the tool list. Next is the tool list which allows you to selectively modify tools that have been set up to work with your Cintiq. This list will include any accessory pens that you have purchased in addition to the grip pen that comes with your pen display. Finally, you'll see the application list. By default, it says All, meaning that any adjustments made will apply to all applications. If you want to adjust the settings for a specific application, such as Photoshop, you can do that too. For example, Express keys can easily be set up to do one thing in Photoshop, but do something else entirely everywhere else. To demonstrate how to first change the function of an Express key for all applications, we will use the common keyboard shortcut for copy and paste, which is invaluable in most applications. To set up an Express key, choose Functions in the tool list. Choose the Express key tab, then choose the Express key to be modified and make the appropriate choice from the pull-down menu. In this case, select Keystroke to set the button to perform the Copy function in all applications. With the cursor in the Define Keystroke dialog, hold the Command key on a Mac or Control key on Windows and hit the letter C, effectively using the keys exactly as you would in the application to copy a selection. Click on the Name field and enter a name for the button. We can set up the button below it the same way. Select Keystroke then, holding Command or Control, hit the letter V and name the button accordingly. Paste. Click OK and the buttons are ready to use. To create a setting for a specific application, it is easiest to first open the program you want to customize. To set up an express key for Photoshop's alternate undo, stepping further and further back rather than toggling the last two history states, make sure that the tool you want to customize is selected. Highlight Functions. Then to the right of the Applications list, click on the plus sign to add the program to be customized, then click OK. Select the application from the list of running software. If it's not running, you can navigate to the program by clicking Browse. Click OK once you've selected the software. Now, other tools just show all in the application list, but with functions selected in the tool list, the application list now has two entries, all other and Photoshop. With Photoshop selected, the functions of the tablet are now ready to be customized for Photoshop only. Selecting the key to modify from the Express Keys tab, select Keystroke from the drop-down list, then hold the Control and Alt key on the PC or Command Option keys on a Mac while pressing the Z key. In Photoshop this goes progressively backward in the history rather than just toggling the last two history states. Effectively, adding the Alt or Option modifier makes it a multiple undo, 
similar to the behavior of an undo in most other applications. To configure the pen switch, select the pen in the tool list. Click the plus to the right of the application list to add Photoshop for the pen. Photoshop should now be available to customize for the pen. In Photoshop, the spacebar functions as the hand tool and is a powerful way to navigate when zoomed in on an image. From the drop-down for the lower end of the rocker switch, select keystroke, then define the stroke exactly as you would when using it in the application. Hit the spacebar just once. Click the name field and name it accordingly. Select OK. Another valuable setting is to set up the other end of the side switch as the Alt or Option key. To do this, choose Modifier rather than Keystroke, and on the menu, check the box for Alt or Option. Modifiers can alter the behavior of tools, clicks, keystrokes, even scroll events. Space easily navigates the screen by pressing the front or lower switch, and with the clone stamp or healing brush, holding the top of the side switch now offers the sample point target. To help learn your tablet settings, press the I button on the top of the display frame. This will bring up a map of your settings on your display, showing your current express key and touch strip mode settings for whichever application you're currently in. The touch strips on either side of the Cintiq 22 are customizable in a way similar to the express keys. In addition, you can set up the mode button on each side to control the behavior of the adjacent strip. The default settings are auto scroll zoom, cycle layers, brush size, which resizes the brush in most graphic applications, and canvas rotation. Note, for these functions to work properly, the application that you're using must support them. These functions can be changed for all programs or for specific applications as well. To set up the touch strip to increase and decrease the hardness of a brush in Photoshop, for example, open the control panel, select functions in the tool list, and make sure Photoshop appears in the Applications list. Remember, if it doesn't appear for the selected tool, click the plus to the right of the Applications list and select Photoshop, then OK. Make sure the application is selected. Select the Touch Strip tab, then choose the drop-down menu for whichever button you want to change. For instance, the second button will be changed from Cycle Layers to Keystroke. The keyboard shortcut for brush hardness are Shift and the left bracket key to soften a brush, and Shift and the right bracket key to harden it. Click in the top Keys field and hit the Clear button if there's anything there. Hold the Shift key and press the left bracket key. This sets the upward motion on the strip to soften a brush. Select the lower or downward field, hit Clear, and then hold Shift and right bracket key to increase the hardness. Now when you slide your finger up the touch strip, it hardens the brush and downward softens it. Name it Brush Hardness and click OK. If OK is unavailable, make sure you've entered something in the name field. Setting up your express keys, touch strip toggle buttons, as well as the pen switches should only take a few minutes, but they can save you hours over the course of a work week. If you ever think you've made errors and want to start over, just hit the default button in the lower right of any tab to restore the default settings. You can then start over setting up the tab again. Default will reset only the tab you're on. If you've already built your own settings and you want to keep them, you can back them up and restore them at a later time. For more information on this, see our video called Backing Up and Restoring Your Tablet Preferences. For more support information, be sure to check out our other help videos. Or if you have questions, please visit the Customer Care section of Wacom.com.